Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from Velocity 2014 in Santa Clara. I'm here with Sebastian Titka. Sebastian, how are you doing? Pretty good, thanks for having me. So you're the Director of Web Development at Sauce Labs. That's and right. What does that mean you do? So I, I basically work on everything. Um, I work with a team uh, on everything that's uh, uh, customer facing. So it means like the website, uh, the APIs that they're interacting with, and just make that our whole round experience and work with our product team to make that better on a daily basis. So one of the things that you guys offer is some testing solutions. So mm -hmm. how can developers adopt new testing solutions, especially in like automated testing? Mm -hmm. So um, what we provide is like a reliable platform for people to um, take uh, testing, automated testing to the next level, basically integrating with like, uh, continuous integration and using open source you know, standards like Selenium to do that. So if you already have an existing Selenium, Selenium suite, it's really easy to integrate that with our infrastructure and do that in a reliable, secure way and scale it up um, you know, as you pull it out and like, as you have more demand to like, run it faster. So one of the, the hottest things and has been for a while is mobile. Mm -hmm. And now we're adding machine-to-machine -machine stuff in there as well. Do you guys have testing solutions for especially the mobile environment? Yes, we do. Um, in fact, we uh, started an open source project that takes the existing Selenium standard into the mobile uh, space. It's called Appium. And uh, what that basically does is like it executes uh, functional tests on our platform using an open source framework on uh, emulators and simulators. And we're also working on a real device offering, so you can run function test as you base, as you used to, you know, to do that with Selenium on web applications, on mobile applications, and and uh, you know keep the quality bar up um, and, and sh you know doing quality assurance that way. So is mobile one of the fastest growing uh, testing areas for you guys? Or? Uh, we keep seeing more and more, you know, customers, and you know, and, and the trend goes, you know, like it's emerging. It's uh, it's definitely becoming a thing um, as consumer grade applications are getting more and more moved over to mobile, away from the desktop. There's uh, definitely a, a high quality bar there and uh, we keep uh, you know, having customers come to us and ask for that. So you guys use a, a term called testing to the left and I, I really like to the left a lot more than to the right. But um, <laughs> So testing to the left, what does that mean? So the way um, I think people envision that when they use that term is like there's development, which is like the early you know, stage of uh, software, the software life cycle, and there's production on the right. And to the left means, testing to the left means, do it early as part of the development and uh, don't make it an afterthought. So instead of like writing a whole lot of code, going through those different stages and making testing like uh, a thing right before putting it in production or not even testing, it's the idea is to like do it early on in the life cycle and make it part of the, uh, the de development aspect of it. So when you write new code, you also write tests and do it continuously and do it as integrated part of development. So in the, in the role of a DevOps nowadays, there's a lot of um, programmatic machine and network configuration on the fly, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. How does someone test that? Is there automated testing for that? I mean, so the, the good thing about DevOps and that movement is that um, you know everything is automated. So as much as you can automate provisioning of your you know your infrastructure and your systems, you can embed tests in that too. And like you know by testing all the layers, and for example using functional tests on top of it, you can basically test the whole stack. And it naturally becomes part of this DevOps um, culture. So testing is, is is part of it. People don't necessarily pay too much attention to that aspect, but you you know you, naturally it fits into the whole picture. So you mentioned culture. That's a really important part of, mm -hmm. of any in development environment nowadays. So if DevOps is starting to do things one way, and your QA department, is there a cultural change for them to in incorporate automated testing into their workflow together? Right. So at SAS Labs, uh, we believe that um, in order to like do that successfully, DevOps and like um, automated testing and, and continuous integration, uh, you have to like basically adopt that thinking of agile and um, looking at the big picture and taking care of all these aspects to do it successfully. So um, uh, the culture shift is actually becoming agile, and you can only be agile if you have like um, automated tests in place because making changes fast also requires you to make sure that you know at all times that your stuff still works. So uh, it naturally fits into that whole picture of the agile movement in software development. So automated testing doesn't mean uh, throw it over the fence to the QA group? Exactly, yeah. It, it's incorporated in right. your whole cycle of the way you work. Exactly, and on top of that, um, the traditional QA model is using people that actually execute tests and becoming more agile and doing a test automation is actually more of an engineering skill because you're actually building a system that tests autom like automatically for you. So um, 
it's it's definitely a culture shift also in like you know what sort of QA person you would like you know utilize to like make that happen and make it successfully happen. So where do you think the future of automated testing is going? Is uh, is going to be like part of every company, every development team's DNA? Is that where it should be or for successful companies that really want to have a you know short time to market that's kind of in, inevitable because um, in order to like actually make these short cycles and like release things fast and make sure the quality bar is still high up, um, you have to have automation in place. So I think personally, and, and I think we at Salsa believe that this is the only way of actually keeping these uh, short uh, release cycles and the time to market really short. And uh, traditional QA uh, won't scale, you know, to that So extent. continuous deployment kind of drives the need for automated testing? Exactly, yeah. yeah. You only want to deploy if you really know that it actually works, right? So, right. so you know, one goes hand in hand with the other. You can't do continuous deployment without continuous testing and continuous integration, which basically runs that whole show. Excellent. So are we going to see you at uh, OSCON and uh, probably Velocity in Europe as well? Uh, I'm actually going to OSCON. I have a speaker slot there. I'm going to talk about um, open source based um, test automation uh, for phone gap apps. So it's very relevant to like what we just talked about. It's in the mobile space. It uses more the cross-platform um, compatible everything open source stack, and I'm going to be up there on stage. I don't actually remember the specific date, but it's going to be in Portland uh, at the end of the next month. Excellent, Sebastian. We'll look yeah. forward to seeing you. Thanks, Thanks. for having me. Yeah.